Okay, now, with my big outburst on the story, you guys might be wondering, well, then I probably don't like the characters. Actually, no, I don't. I really enjoy these characters. In fact, this is what made the book such a good book to me. I really related with one of the characters, so it seems like I really could put myself in a situation. And surprisingly, this movie's no different. I can actually put myself in this situation because they actually follow with these characters. Sure, I expected Dean to have a little bit of a different voice. Really, why does he have a country accent? Why do they have that? I don't get that. That was never shown in the book. I don't get that. Where did that come from? But, really, you kind of look past that because the characters are surprisingly well developed and do take a lot of time. Like, the character Jean. He's more of a stressful, safe, down to the rules kind of type of character who, yeah, okay, I can relate to. But, he's actually executed wonderfully here. It does really feel like I'm seeing the character I've read about. So it does seem very true and feels very identical. It feels very much like the book. So most of the good feelings that I got from the book is very well executed with the character. And then there's Finney, who actually, again, just like Gene, he's pretty much the exact same. I do find this character very likable, and I do feel sad for him at the very end. But, there's one thing I would like to say about it, is that in the book, I always pictured them more as kids. Because the stuff that they're doing seemed more like kid stuff. Like there was things where they would just run around, just play ball. I, I guess that teenagers do that, but they sort of made up the game. So I always sort of pictured them in the place of teenagers, of like going into teenagehood. Yet in the book, they're actually 16. And in the movie, they're 16 as well. So then the story would sort of feel like we're progressing as the characters got older. And that way, the movie really made me think about that differently. Because I didn't really get it. It didn't really feel like the characters were actually how I thought they were. And some might argue that'd be a problem. And which, yeah, it kind of is, but... And they didn't do a bad job with it, or at least with what they were given, they didn't. And actually, I quite enjoyed seeing it. Because it really did make me think about the book in, in a very different way. So, yeah, I was glad that they did it like that. And then, there's Blinker? Blinker? I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm sorry, I really don't. It's the character whose name starts with a B. I'm just gonna call him B right now, because I have no idea how to pronounce his name right. Like, for some odd reason, I always forget his name, and I cannot pronounce it right whenever I remember it. So, I'm just going to call him B. Now, in the book, I actually pictured him much more as like a jock character, and kind of a bully turned friend. Yet, in the movie, he's more of a nerdy guy who mainly wants to get good grades and can sometimes be a jerk. I never got that. So, I never really feel like I'm watching this character. Sure, the acting choice was good, and if it was for a different character in the book, I'm pretty sure I would've been fine with it. But, it just doesn't feel like this one character that I knew. The character was a little bit more tough, and he could take a punch in the book. Yet here, he's far from that. So, it seems like they've taken away a lot of his tough, no-nonsense personality. Which sort of made me see him like more of the bully turned friend. Who can still be a jerk at times. And the one person that he's mainly a jerk to is the next character, which is Leper. Who is more of a peacekeeper, at least for the most part. If you've read the book or seen the movie, then you know exactly what I mean by for the most part. But pretty much he's starts off as a character that's more a peacekeeper and kind of more friendly and outgoing. But then what happens in the, is he the first one to enlist in war. Okay. And 
after that, he's actually sort of like a man who's seen war and knows how it's horrifying. He actually gives Gene an entirely different outlook on war. Where Gene would sort of look at it as like, eh, I don't really want to go into it. Now, he, after conversations with Leper, he's a little bit more serious about it and knows that's something that shouldn't be joked about. So, they actually do convey that very well. And, sure, they might change some of the language to be a little bit more adult, but, yeah, I, I think they did pretty well. Especially with what they had. Like, th again, scenes are identical. The scene with Gene and Leopard talking after Gene came, after Leopard came out of the war. That scene is almost identical. They just changed around some words. So that's pretty much all for the characters. Yeah, there aren't that many of those. But, even though there aren't that many, they do have enough time to develop them and spend a lot of time with them. And actually get you feeling sorry for these characters if something bad happens to them. Like, I actually did feel bad for Leper. And I'm glad that I was able to see it. So, for the care, And also, Jean... I don't care about his accent. It might be annoying, but I don't care. It was still, it was still a great performance. So for the characters, I'm going to give it an eight out of ten because the characters are executed wonderfully, it's, and they're very similar to the book. Yeah, this is an adaptation that's actually similar to the book. Who would thought that people could still do that? Now, how do I feel about the film in a whole? Well, it definitely has its inaccuracies, but I don't think that, but I think that if you, if you've never read the book, then you can actually really enjoy this movie. Because if you've never read the book, go check it out though, it's a great book, it's definitely worth a look, worth a watch and listen. And as is this movie. It's not a bad movie, it's executed well, and it actually does give a little bit more of an understanding of the book, as some things I felt were kind of rushed in the book. This movie made it a little bit more paced out. But, there are some points in it that I really do find problems with. Like, my favorite part of the book is completely glanced over, just like, oh, they're not on the list? No, oh, okay, that's pretty much it. That's what my favorite scene was, and what they do? Nope, okay. I guess I'm not doing this. Oh, fine, that's, that's cool. And that's not really how I think it should have been, but all in all, the movie's definitely fun and worth a watch. So, if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's definitely worth the time. And next week, I'm going... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, um, final review. Thank you. 7 out of 10. For being such a good retelling of the book. But, if they wanted to make it a little bit more appealing to the fans of the book, here's my thing that they should have done. And this is why I'm surprised that they didn't do, since Showtime TV is involved with this. They should have made it a mini-series. You want to know why? It wouldn't have cost that much more money. They actually did get most of the stuff down. So it wouldn't have cost that much more money at all. Because all they would have been doing was using the same sets as Devin, and that's pretty much it. But they didn't do that. And they wanted to be more appealing to fans, which I don't know what they want to do, then they would have made a miniseries. And that's what I think what they should have done, but eh, it's not my place to decide what these filmmakers made. I mean, they did good with what they had. And, frankly, that's exactly what it is. It's just a fun little movie to just check out if you really want to. And next week is The Matrix. I'm the reviewer, and bye.